Hi team, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video. Today is a subject I've been asked about actually quite a lot lately. Um, some people have been asking me for some advice about your own business or new jobs because let's be honest in the current climate things are a bit of a mess, aren't they? Um, so this one we're going to talk about taking the leap, the leap of faith. Before we dive into the rest of the video though, as always, please like, please subscribe, share, comment, and take part, and tell me what you guys want to see. The whole thing about this channel was to create a team. You see with the Shop Chronicles episodes, it's a bit of fun, it's a bit of banter, but hopefully, as I do this for a living, it's just about engagement and people wanting to take part in the journey with me, I suppose, and showing you, and as I start going to more meetings and things like that now i'll try and share what i can with you so that you can get a feel for the i suppose what i'm doing at the moment which i love which is having the variation of doing things that i'm passionate about with some long-term projects running alongside them but let's talk about taking that leap of faith there's so many things that you'll face whether it's your own business or if you're going into a new role there's so many unknowns there's so many scary things but the scariest moment is the initial leap as I say, the leap of faith is kind of what I call it. That moment where you can take control of your own destiny, professionally or personally. I won't try and get too hepped up on the personal stuff, but if you're in a relationship that you don't want to be, jog it on. If you're falling out with people or you feel wronged, tell them. But in terms of your career, liberate yourself. Make the decision that you're going to go through with this. We'll talk about what it looks like and what it feels like, because it is nervous. It is anxiety inducing and there's a lot of unknowns and there'll be a lot of lonely moments where you think, have I done the right thing? But the moment it works, and it will, it's the feeling that you cannot describe. The moment where you're waking up in the morning and you control your own destiny, not someone else, not your boss, not the person that you've woke up to 20 emails determining what the rest of your week's going to look like. It is a liberated feeling. Don't be foolhardy, don't believe that whatever you touch is going to turn to gold, because that's not always the case. Plan for the worst, hope for the best, but have a plan. Before you make that leap, give yourself the security. When I say that, if you're looking at a new job, if you've been applying for jobs for years, but it's not been working, that is the leap of faith. You're going to have to quit. <coughs> How are you going, Dal? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going. You are going to have to force your hand. You are going to have to sit at home and you are going to have to be creative. Write a letter, do a video, create your pitch that tells you why the employer, who's going to, let's be honest, have a lot of choice right now about who they pick. Show them why they need to pick you. Show them why it's your dream job, why you deserve the outcome that you desire. And then, do you know what? If you want to start your own business, which as I say, I've got quite a lot of experience of now with a number of opportunities that I'm working on, You've got to believe there's no such thing as a sure thing and there will be highs and there will be lows, but controlling your own destiny and seeing something you believe in come to fruition is more rewarding than anything you can ever describe professionally. So you've just got to be brave. You've got to take that moment. As I say, don't be reckless. Ensure it's thought through. Know that you have a plan. Make sure there's an approach, whether that is applying for a job and getting yourself noticed, or if that is like starting a business. Get your profit and loss in place. Do your research, do your due diligence. But when you know it's solid, you gotta go. There's no point, as I said earlier, shoulda, woulda, couldas. Jump in and get going and go for it. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same as we are liberated from our own fear. Our presence automatically liberates others. And I, I suppose, moved away from kind of corporate positions into starting the Smithton shop, the consultancy business where I've just, um, just become the executive director of a really awesome company uh, up in the north of England and a couple of the other clients that I have and then there's a kind of longer term business that I'm 
going into with someone that I know really well. They're all leaps of faith. They're all moments where you kind of have to back yourself. And as I say, whether that is particularly when you're starting your own business, but going into a new role or leaving something that you've been comfortable with, I think a lot of us are willing to trade happiness for a salary. And it's a concept that I suppose I understand. We've all got bills to pay and with, I suppose, some success comes choices, but we, we've all got a life to live. We've all got bills that we've got to cover. And so the decision doesn't actually get any easier because what you've earned, you still don't necessarily want to spend it. So I think that's, that's really what we'll focus on today is the leap of faith. For me, it's a critical component to anyone that's going to be successful. It's having that innate ability to turn down the anxiety or embrace it, whichever you can do. If you can semi-quash it and go through with it or embrace it and use it as the adrenaline that's going to kind of fuel your journey from here on in. So for me, my biggest leap of faith actually, probably was when I believed I could become the general manager of Sheffield United when I was 21 or whatever. And wanting to go for the job, but believing I could do the job. And I had no idea what I was doing. I was nervous. I was second guessing some of my decisions. I was the youngest person in the entire management team and I was the one running it. Everybody around me had way more experience. But I've said it in the recruitment videos, I've said it in succession planning. Recruitability, the rest will come with time. And I'd like to think that ability is something that stood me in good stead without sounding too conceited. However, you've got to take the leap. You've got to have that belief. And the belief is the key part. The belief is the bit that if you've ever, not that I have, base jumped or whatever, there's the moment where you jump off the edge of the cliff and you have to believe in your ability to not go flat on your face. Play it nice and cool, son. Nice and cool, you know what I mean? <laughs> You've got to believe you can come through it. And there'll be some lows, but the highs will be higher than what you can ever imagine. So if you're thinking about starting your own business or looking at a new career or just something new in life, this doesn't always have to be work and professional related. The leap of faith is it might be a relationship that you're not happy in, or it might be someone that you want to get in a relationship with. You own your own life, you own your own destiny. And that leap of faith, is all that matters because sometimes you will fall flat on your face but you know what you get up and you go again because actually your own happiness and controlling the course of your own destiny should matter much much more rather than accepting your lot and going this is life for me we're not the generations that used to have to live with that where we're going to go through some really 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 tough times there's no point pretending we're not there is going to be a recession, there's going to be mass unemployment. But with that, there is opportunity. You have to take positives from these situations. You don't have to believe that it's all shit and that you're destitute. There will be people that are super hard up and we've all been there, my income stopped for quite a few months. But you make decisions, your belief, your ability to make that leap never lessens. If you wake up in the morning and you don't want to do what you're going to do, whether that is personally or professionally, make the decision to not do it. Inspiration is different than motivation. Motivation can be externally driven. It can be temporary. You can be motivated for fear of punishment. You know, if you're going to get punished, you can be motivated. Um, and if you're going to get rewarded, you can be motivated. But it doesn't last. That feeling goes away and you have to keep repeating it. Inspiration is this, is this little thing that burns inside of us, sometimes brighter, sometimes dimmer, but it's always there. And it's where we go to for, for, for that internal strength. Um, and it's fueled by our idealism and it's fueled by the, the love of our friends and our colleagues and our coworkers and our family. That's what keeps that spirit alive. Um, and I, I, I sort of, I make a point to distinguish the difference between positivity and optimism. You know, it's important for us to be optimistic now. And, and to me, positivity is, is not, positivity is like, looking at the world and saying everything's good mm -hmm. but the world is difficult right now oh, yeah you know so but optimism is about being in a dark tunnel and seeing the light start to champion your own happiness your own beliefs your own desires and actually you might find that you get somewhere because the moment you stop doing what you believe you're supposed to because that's just what society says and you do the things that you want to do 
assuming they're sensible by the way, let's caveat that. But you find that your happiness redefines, you get excited again. You wake up in the morning with a spring in your step. Each day offers you a plethora of opportunity. That's what we're talking about. That's the focus. That's where your concentrations and your energy should lie. A load of you watching the video now, I know because I do, I do this for a living, over half of you are sat there in a job that gets you paid. And I'm not judging you for that. If you're cool with that, that's fine. But don't be the shoulda, woulda, coulda person. Don't get to 40, 50, 60, and I shoulda done this, I shoulda done that. Because the only person that can control those outcomes are you. And I won't preach and convince you all to quit your jobs and run off and do all the things that your heart desires, because sometimes we have to be practical. But you can do both. There's always a time, there's always a moment, and if you've been one of the many people that's sadly been made redundant, if you're going through a tough time in a relationship, make a change. Change is a fresh start. Get excited about life again. Feel the nervous anxiety of not knowing where the journey's gonna end. I live that life on a day-to-day -day basis, and does it get tough some days? Massively. But the days where it delivers for you, it's when you feel alive. You're going into the unknown. All you've got is your smarts and the things that you know, but you'll find your way. If you have an inbuilt desire to be successful, your hard work, your commitment, and your dedication will start to plug the gaps. I work with loads of different people with broad skill sets, so I'm not great at everything. And some of them that may watch this that have worked with me, I'll tell them if I'm no use to them, because I know what I'm good at and I know what I'm not and I ultimately want to benefit them and me, selfishly. I want to earn a living and I want to do stuff that I'm interested in. It's not a product or an idea or something that's going to get me excited. No good to me. I want to be passionate about the things that I do. And do you know what I'm most passionate about? My life, my happiness, controlling my own destiny, giving my family the life that I want them to have, and also allowing me the time to be with my family. Those things are important to me. So you make those decisions and you could argue that time, experience or whatever has bought me the opportunity, but be under no illusions. That's 14 or 15 years worth of 60, 70, 80, 90 hour weeks to earn the right to make choices. So when we're talking about the leap of faith, you just gotta jump sometimes and believe in your own ability. As I've said in so many other videos, just be the hardest working person in the room. Be the best person that you can be. Surround yourself with good people when you can afford to, because you will find people that are much better than you, and allow them the autonomy to make your dreams come true. And without this all being superlative statements, really the only person that can control your destiny is you. If you sat at a desk hating your job, if you're sat in your house thinking, don't want to go to work tomorrow. If you're in a relationship where you think, oh, do you know what? It was good, but that person's a tosser now. Jog them on. Make the change. Actually have some belief in yourself and that you deserve whatever it is that you desire. And go and work for it. Don't cut corners. Work hard. Do it honestly and do it properly. But take that leap of faith. Take that run and jump and the parachute will come out. That's it for today, guys. You can control your own destiny. Not a particularly long video, but hopefully kind of impactful and about the mindset of an entrepreneur or a leader and someone who innately believes in the direction that they're going in. But as always, please like and subscribe, but most importantly, stay safe and we'll see you next time. Take it easy, team. Bye.